they put the, this so-called government on notice and let them know that, hey, my ancestors, ancestors secured our rights as human beings in this jurisdiction and you cannot forcefully have me feeling obligated to go to your domestication centers, which they call schools, right? So just letting you know that this concept of acting upon your indigenous rights has already been out there, but you just didn't really know what was going on. So that whole thing about immunization, the vaccinations, and then you, all you do is go get a form you can print out from them and just sign it and give it to them, and then your child can now go back to the school they just kicked him out of. Did that, did that ever kind of make you wonder what, what is out there that's having these people say, I can't make you do anything. All it is is you knowing the law and knowing your rights from a proper person standpoint, right? And speaking of schools, one of, if not, in the top, I don't know what to call it, influential teachers that we have in our community. But because of how modest this teacher is, some, some people pretty much, you know, like he, he's not looking for personal recognition, he's just so concerned about the development of his children. You see it in everything he does. When you speak to him, when you shake his hand, you feel it and you know it. Which is why we must give honor and appreciation. In the school systems, they call him Mr. Lewin. Mr. Lewin goes out of his way to break the standard. He does things to bring this into their system, which is great. He brings us to his class. He's doing things that are not being done. So we want to show honor and respect to that because um, that's, we need more teachers like that. We need our brothers and sisters like that in the community to really tap into that courage and say, you know what? My children need to learn. Let's invite Kujo and Adisa in to speak on stuff that people never talk about. And I can kind of shake the concrete sometimes, right? But we want to give honor and show appreciation um, with the Noble Giulia Award for your hard work, support, assistance, and help in uplifting fallen humanity and making our communities a better place for our future generations. We would like to award and give this award to Mr. Lewin, uh, the proper person, Amani Asad. Uh, Mr. Lewin, you got away. I was going to make you say something. <laughs> you got away with one right there. But I appreciate it. Um, let us know and we'll spread the word to the community and anything that you're doing, any support that you need. Um, yes, let's support him because he's taking on a, a machine and he's brave enough to do it. Um, we have another, in that same spirit, we have another um, member of the community who is doing his thing, you know, heard of this, started to come into classes, and started to see the benef how beneficial this information can be in strengthening what he was already doing. Um, if any of you are familiar with a community newspaper known as Uprising International Newspaper, round of applause. And Drew Ali mentions in a lot of his literature the importance of our own, producing our own literature in my book. He, go, he, he stresses it being that that is the driving force, that's the steering wheel to whatever we want to do as a people. And this brother been doing it, I think, before I even got into consciousness and stuff. I think I came into consciousness seeing this uprising international newspaper. How many years has it been going on? 16. Wow. Yeah. Right? And 
I never gave it as much respect and props when back in the day. But I used to use it a lot as my sources of information and where you, you heard something about. But we tend to, you know, read something and take it on and kind of forget. And we're spoiled sometimes and we forget kind of where we're getting it from. But um, we want to give our Nobel Jewelry Award to Uprising International Newspaper. Uh, chief editor is Ross Leon. I'm sure any of you have seen the news. <laughs> So he um, wasn't able to be here right now, but the Honorable Empress, uh, his Honorable Empress, Queen Nzinga, who's a member of Moore Science Temple of America, a strong student, strong mother, strong supporter, and with her just her regal elegance and her beautiful presence, she helps a lot of the energy. She has, has a lot of support, and her love just shines so much, and she is a perfect exemplary sister that we need to learn from, support, and teach in the upliftment of all of humanity. So we would like to, on behalf of Uprising International, we would like to award and ask Queen and Zinga, if you can come up here. <laughs> yesterday, but she entered uh, the Valley of the Ancestors in 1975 at the age of 45. And yesterday was her, her birthday, and I decided, I said, well, you know, we celebrate a lot of things that doesn't have any connection with us. So I decided, I said, okay, I'm going, I know she, she was a lover of green tea, and so I make a cup of strong green tea, and I, I know that her, her color was yellow. And I had a yellow candle and I lit it and I called out her name. To my sister, because she's the. Um, she's the only one that I can truly witness um, a sister that proclaims her nationality. Whether it's um, in the community, online, uh, one on one with um, anybody. To my uh, Moorish Americans throughout the entire globe, respect yourself, know yourself, love thyself. I would love to thank my sister honorably for giving me such a wonderful award. I would like to say happy birthday, Prophet Noble Juali. And for giving me the children and my community. mentally, spiritually, socially, psychologically, that all of our children remain aligned through our parental instructions of knowledge that we divinely <coughs> commend our youth fair, 
fairly, whether we understand them or not, but that we commend our children and we offer them only five, and I only implement love, because that is the being I am, in love. So again, to all of my ancestors, onto the movement of the world, unity makes the nation grow. And in order to grow, we need to love. So love thyself, my brothers and sisters. Know yourself, seek yourself. Don't judge yourself. The chef, we've been doing a lot of stuff together for a long time. You know, I'm gonna start with you. The brother, um, the brother does a lot of work with regard to our movement and making sure that we have the sustenance that we need. He always provides the food. And we just wanted to acknowledge the work that his catering company does for the movement um, and call it royalty. And we wanted to uh, just give a Nobel Jewelry Award to the brother for, for the work that him and his catering, catering company is doing for us. Congratulations once more. probably double digits. And I don't just mean some things, he's been very active. One of the major things we want to bring to light is the concept of being active opposed to being passive. All right? This brother is a perfect example. In our community, the whole city knows his name, the whole city knows his radio show. He's been doing it for almost double digits, if not, and um, major thing I respect about him is his dedication to the children. He's gonna let you know a little bit more about exactly what he's doing and where the facility is that he's doing his things at, but um, he's dedicated to teaching and passing on to the next generation, as one of his names are, Sankofa. So I am personally honored and uh, on behalf of the Moore Science Temple of America and Moore's Divine and National Movement, we want to show our appreciation for your hard work, support, assistance, and help in uplifting fallen humanity and making our communities a better place for our future generations. And after you receive this award, can you please bless us with the honor of um, a peace, a spoken word peace, please. So, I'm asking you, everyone in the house, to please show as much appreciation as they can and respect for our brother, Kofi Sanko. Yes, I want to... Give thanks. I, I'm usually giving out awards, so it's uncomfortable sometimes. 